What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So, today in the shop, this is what we're doing. We're gonna figure out, uh, we're gonna figure out exactly uh, the, the truth to the myth if your Milwaukee M18 amp hour is higher if it results in better performance from your tool. So we are using the 38 impact um, for all you nerds out there, it is uh, number 2754-20. Uh, just so we're all on the same page, I'm using a three-quarter inch, three-eighths ratchet or three-eighths uh, socket on here. We're going to have this bolt. I'm going to I'm going to run it out until it's flush with the nut. I'm going to put each battery on. They are all on green. Let me show you. All right, every single one of these is on green, all the way down through here. So today. All right, now that you saw that everything's on green, we are testing the 1.5, the 2.0, the 3.0, the 4.0, the 5.0, and the 9.0. I do not have a 12.0 for this test, or a 6.0 for that matter, but I think this will give us a good, uh, a good reflection of what it's about to do. All right, guys, let's get ready for this test. So I just took all the batteries off the charger. I am going to do this test on three with the impact and we're going to have our nut or our bolt all the way out of our nut and we're going to hold it for two seconds and uh, once we've bottomed out the bolt we're going to hold it for two seconds all right i'll try to be as consistent as possible we're going to try loosening it here and see what we got all right so 131.1 is what the 1.5 uh, just did so now we're gonna try our 2.0. I kind of had to put my put my body weight behind it. Let's go ahead and loosen this out here. All right, and two seconds. All right, that was a 2.0. 118.7. All right, now the 3.0. 3.0, I thought, yes, 3.0. We were on the 3.0. Give it a, we'll get a fair shake. All right, let's go ahead and 3.0, here we go. All right. Okay, 128.4, 128.4. Make sure I keep this straight for all you YouTubers out there. Make sure that we're doing this on the up and up. I'm using the uh, ratchet every single time to loosen the nut just so, uh, you know, stays consistent. That was the first pull of the trigger on the fresh new battery. So, uh, also the bolt is not getting noticeably warmer or anything like that. So, I think we're still in good shape there. That was the 4.0. 107.6, 4.0. All right, 5.0 is up next. Let's go ahead and run this up here. All right, here we go, 5.0. 116.0 flat, 116.0 flat, 5.0. All right, and the 9.0, here we go. Turn this out here. All right. Uh, 93.5. Hmm, let's give that another test since that was considerably lower than everything else. Maybe I didn't hold it for the two seconds that I should have. Let's just try it again just to make sure. Ninety-five point seven. So I have confirmed that was two of them. One, the first was ninety-three point six. The second one was ninety-five point seven. All right. So here are our results. The one point five amp hour battery uh, did a breakaway torque. Uh, loosening so it's a little bit less than what it would be uh, putting putting it on at 131.1 the 2.0 at 118.7 the 
the 3.0 at 128.4, the 4.0 at 107.6, the 5.0 at 116 even, and the 9.0 at 95.7. So let me recap that right there, that 1.5 did 131 foot-pounds loosening to loosen it. The 9.0 only took 95.7. So I think that definitely uh, debunks the myth of just because you have a larger amp hour battery, it does not improve the performance of your tool. I think that we're seeing a little bit of variance here because of the time limit I'm holding it on there. Um, but other than that, I think that it, regardless of what amp hour you have, uh, the only thing that it changes is the amount of time that your tool will run. Uh, that as far as the torque and the power of the tool, it changes nothing. Uh, we even saw the performance go down a little bit. So um, I'm gonna continue on and do a test of three. Uh, we're gonna do this three times through to make sure it's fair, and then I'm gonna average them up, and we're gonna make a little spreadsheet for you guys at the end. So. All right, guys, so I went ahead and did those three, uh, those two other tests, so made it an average of three. Here's our numbers that came out. Um, the I'll, I'll put a spreadsheet here at the end of the video uh, when we're done, but I'm gonna let you know the exact rankings of who came out on top. So um, this is the rankings, here we go, number one, Guess who won? The 1.5 amp hour battery won the test. Um, number two was the 3.0, number three, 5.0, number four, 4.0. Uh, number five was 9.0, and 9.0 only was out of dead last by 0.1 of a uh, foot pound. So um, it was almost dead last being the biggest battery that we tested. So I think this, this uh, proves that all that snake oil out there when you talk about um, having a bigger battery, it means more torque. It does not mean it whatsoever. We did three tests right here, um, showed you. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had hoped that you subscribe and check out some uh, content in the future. Hope to see you around the channel and uh, I'll roll the spreadsheet in here at the end so you can see exactly what the numbers came out to be. Have a good one and we'll see you guys next video.